So when you eat smart, you feel great. Key drivers of all chronic health disease, it all begins with inflammation. Sugar acts in the same way as some class A drugs, and that's not a myth that has been shown time and time again. How does alcohol affect both in the short term and the long term brain's health? The future of medicine is integrative, it's holistic, it's personalized. Mm. We need to start writing prescriptions that include nutrition. Dr. Rachel Gao is a world-renowned nutritional neuroscientist and child psychologist who focuses on spreading understanding on how food impacts brain health, particularly in ADHD and autism. Her goal is to help people optimize cognitive function, mood, and behavior through diet and lifestyle. In her best-selling book, Smart Foods for ADHD and Brain Health, she empowers individuals and families to support mental well-being with practical, science-backed strategies. My son was diagnosed with dyslexia and ADHD when he was around seven or eight. Because of these constant complaints from the teachers, I was forced to take him out of the school. There's a lot of pressure for me to medicate him. I just felt horrible as a mom. Individuals with ADHD have lower levels of omega-3. So that's why fats like omega-3 a brain essential. Brain essential, because yes. they feed the brain? Yes, they have many, many functions. One of the key functions is... And if I want to be energized, what should I eat? Why are we not investing yeah. in what we're putting in our fridge? Because what we're putting in our fridge goes into our bodies. How can we regulate our mood through yeah. what we consume? We pick up the traits, personalities and habits of the five most closest people in our lives. Before you do anything, you need to... So much food for thought. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Food for thought. <laughs>